Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Funscope 76mm uh, Reflector Telescope. It's a great entry-level telescope if you want to see if you want to get your feet wet in the hobby, but you don't want to spend too much money at the outset because you're not sure if you're going to keep it as a hobby or maybe if you're getting it as a present, you don't know if they're going to have uh, as much interest. It's uh, fairly inexpensive, but pretty powerful. I mean, this is, a, this is not your department store telescope. This actually performs well, allows you to see lots of things in the night sky, but for a modest investment at the outset. So a great way to kind of get your feet wet and see what you think of the hobby. It's a 76 millimeter, that's about three inch uh, reflector telescope on a little tabletop swivel mount. So it swivels left and right, up and down. You can adjust the tension of the up and down axis. So when you position it and you let go, it stays put. So there's no flop or sagging in the thing. It's, it's always balanced. So uh, a nice stable uh, system as long as you're setting it on some tabletop that's fairly stable. So a, a park bench, a picnic table, uh, your patio table in the backyard would be perfect. It comes with several accessories. It comes with two eyepieces, a 20 millimeter and a 6 millimeter. The 6, that's the high power. That gives you 50 power. And then it also comes with a Barlow lens, a 2x Barlow, which doubles the power. So all told, you get up to 100 magnification with this telescope if you put the 50, uh, 50 power in here and drop it into the focuser. At 100 power, you can see the rings of Saturn. You can see the moons of Jupiter, even with a lower power. Um, if you were to put the 20 millimeter in here, like I've got now, the low power, and you point this at the Orion Nebula, you definitely, uh, at least if you're away from the city lights, be able to see some of the structure. You can see a little cloud structure, a little wing shape of, a, of an area in the sky where stars are being born. It's a stellar nursery. Uh, and a, that would be a very nice view with a, a reflector like this. Uh, Andromeda Galaxy, that's a very bright target, and at low power with a 20 millimeter, you'll see the oval structure of a galaxy outside of our own galaxy. Um, uh, again, a very pretty sight there. Um, and then, like I mentioned, Moon and Planets, uh, you can see at 100 power the, the cloud band on Jupiter, one or two cloud bands on Jupiter, as well as the moons around it and Saturn's rings. And then if you pointed it at our moon, it'll look like you're in orbit around it. There's, there's lots of detail to be seen on the moon. Uh, Surface features like craters, mountain ranges. Uh, watch the moon as it goes through its phases. So when it's at its quarter phase and you have that terminator line, that's the best uh, area to look at and the best time to look at the moon when it's in its phases because you see all the relief. You see the craters, the shadows going across the surface. If you pointed this at the moon during uh, its full phase, there's lots of stuff to see, but the, the craters and the mountain ranges kind of disappear because all the shadows are gone. So phases of the moon are also a very nice uh, target for a fun scope like this, the fun scope. Uh, it also comes with, this is the manual for it to get you started, well written, easy to understand. And then we also give you the Moon Map 260, which is a great reference guide for identifying features on the moon. It's got all the major craters, mountain ranges, it even has the Apollo landing site so you can kind of find where the Apollo astronauts landed. And all of the uh, features are listed uh, in order here. And there's two versions of the map. This is the correct image map, and on the back is the mirror image map. If you were using a refractor, you'd use a mirror image. But with this reflector, you're actually going to use the correct image map. The, the image is upside down with a reflector. So this is a scope designed just really for the night sky. Uh, and with the correct image map, you just rotate it around. Uh, and you look at it upside down. And this will match exactly what you're seeing in the field of view of the telescope. On the side of the telescope is the finder scope. This is a zero power reflex sight, meaning when you turn it on, it requires a little battery that comes with it. Uh, you see a little dot floating in the sky. You uh, you can adjust that dot so it's looking at the same thing that the telescope sees. That's the calibration uh, uh, mode. And then once it's calibrated, once it's looking at the same thing you see through the eyepiece, then you use it to find anything. So let's say Saturn is over here and you want to aim the telescope at Saturn. You put your 20 millimeter in, you aim through it, look through the finder scope, put the dot right on Saturn, and when you look through here, there it is. You found your, your first deep sky, your, your first object in the sky. And you can use that for anything else, the moon, planets, if you know the area in the sky where Orion is, which is uh, a fairly easy target to find. He's the, the, the Orion Nebula is the middle star in the sword of Orion. You just put the dot right in the middle of that little sword structure and look through there, you'll see the Orion Nebula. All right, well, there you have it. This is the Funscope 76 millimeter reflecting telescope, uh, tabletop version. Thank you very much. Clear skies.